What's up everyone, Arctic here, giving you guys my full thoughts and impressions on this review of the Live Gamer HD from Aver Media. Now I've kind of held off on doing this review because there were a number of driver updates that both Aver Media needed to release for the Live Gamer HD and XSplit uh, had to release a software update to make it compatible with the software that they use to live stream. So there's still a few issues that occur with, uh, with the capture card, which I will discuss in this review and I'm going to be talking about my overall thoughts of the capture card with some gameplay comparisons and impressions of Avermedia's recording software are essential so I hope you guys stick around for the review and enjoy so starting out with the basic overview the live gamer HD is a PCI Express internal capture card that retails for about $220 now, I know that's a little bit on the expensive side when it comes to capture cards, especially if you're just starting out and you, um, you know, you're kind of interested in streaming or, you you know, uploading YouTube videos. So hopefully by the time this review is complete, you'll have a better idea of whether or not it's worth the plunge. Uh, so the packaging for this thing looks really nice. Uh, Every media did their homework. A lot of people like presentation. Uh, you guys will see packages that don't look as nice. The product usually isn't as nice. So it looks like they really care uh, about how the product is presented, which I do appreciate. Uh, but, you know, after you open it, you're like, hey, this is just, a, you know, a capture card and a hot button. So, uh, well, you know, we, once we crack this thing open, we take a look at the capture card, as you guys can see here. Uh, there's an HDMI in on it, HDMI out. There's a stereo 3.5 millimeter in and a 3.5 millimeter out. There's also some, some additional goodies that come with the unit that include a DVI to HDMI adapter, an HDMI cable, an HDMI to DVI cable, a 3.5 millimeter audio cable, and a, obviously the dedicated hot button, which we mentioned. Now, I don't like getting too technical in my review, so I'll try to keep all the technical specs to a bare minimum. If you guys are interested in reading them, I have them outlined in my uh, written overview on my website. The link is in the description, guys. So remember, links save lives. Check the description for links. And I'm sure there's more information in there that uh, you guys care about. So the Live Gamer H HD records in a compressed H.264 video codec, uh, which is essentially MP4s for this particular uh, product. This allows your computer to use less resources while the capture card is in use. And it honestly really does work. Uh, Every media proclaims super low PC consumption on their box. And so obviously, uh, you know, when I see that, I'm like, hey, I got to test it out. So I had a few scenarios where I was rendering video and re uh, recording gameplay simultaneously. And surprisingly, it worked flawlessly. Uh, there wasn't any like frame rate loss or anything like that on the videos that I played back. Um, during that period where I was also rendering video. So I was pretty impressed uh, with the amount of PC consumption that this thing uses. It's not a lot. So we're going to take a look at some gameplay comparisons. Uh, we're going to start off with streaming because that was the reason I was so interested in the Live Gamer HD. Basically, it was publicized as being uh, really compatible with XSplit. If you guys aren't sure what XSplit is, it's basically software that allows you to stream gameplay to Twitch TV or YouTube or whatever other streaming services uh, that you guys might use. If you guys remember back in February of 2012, I was actually trying to uh, test live streams in preparation for my live show subscriber Sunday. And at the time, I was using another capture card and I was capturing the screen region uh, from the capture software with that old capture card. And it resulted in some quality loss and screen tearing, which is obviously something that I didn't want. So the Live Gamer HD allows me to stream direct uh, without, you know, capturing the screen region and takes that signal. XSplit takes that si signal and uh, puts it out to Twitch or YouTube or wherever I'm streaming. And there's not nearly as much loss in qu video quality and there's no screen tearing. So uh, that's a big plus. Now, the issue that occurred when I was streaming initially is that there would be frequent uh, audio sync issues with the video, which of some of them have since been uh, fixed with driver updates, but there still appears to be a few issues, which I'll talk about uh, more in the capturing section. But uh, so anyone watching my stream would co sometimes complain that the gameplay sound was out of sync with the audio. This is an obvious no, no. Uh, but again, Avermedia media has been pretty much on it as much as they possibly can releasing these driver updates to make sure it doesn't happen uh, as much now if you're streaming pc games you might be a little bit 
worried about performance issues or frame rate, frame rate loss. And for the most part, I haven't noticed any uh, severe loss in frame rate. I, to be honest, I haven't really noticed any. Uh, at the time, I was streaming Diablo 3 using the Live Gamer HD and had no issues whatsoever. Now, recording footage using the Live Gamer HD is pretty simple. Uh, it does record in 1080p at 60 frames per second. Uh, so once you have the capture card installed, you can both record and stream footage using the software that's built into the unit called RE Central. There were some noticeable difference in quality from my previous videos to the ones that I'm using now with the Live Gamer HD. And a lot of you guys in the comments let me know that you love the new 1080p look on the videos, which you guys can see by some of the comments that I have inserted here. And my capture settings, I actually included those in the description if you're interested in uh, taking a peek at them. And we're going to move on to the software side of things. So RE Central is the streaming software that comes packed into the Live Gamer HD unit. We're taking a look at the settings right now, uh, the general settings. So you guys can change the transparency. You can change where you're saving it to, profile management, all that stuff. We're going to go ahead and get out of that. Um, you can also change which capture card you're using. You guys see which one I have selected there. Let's go on to the capture settings. Now, there's three options. You have newbie, amateur, and pro. Newbie is basically a dumbed-down version of the settings. You just select one of the ones, and then you hit ready. Amateur has a few more options. You can change some of the sources. Again, you just want to hit ready. You can save your profiles. Um, but... That's a little bit more complex once you get used to it. Pro is actually what I use. You guys can see you can select a lot of different things in there, changing the resolution, bit rate, capture device, recording, uh, external audio, all that stuff. Um, now, this is the streaming section. Pretty much the same deal going on. Change some of the settings. Just hit ready. And then you're good to go. You can also change the gateway and then there's the video folder so there's not too much to that software it's pretty straightforward you can change your profile maybe you have something for xbox something for pc uh, it's pretty simple straightforward uh, software the main issue i currently have with the live gamer hd is the video audio sync delay uh, issue that seems to plague a number of owners of the capture card it mostly happens when you're converting your files the raw files into some type of video editing software like Adobe Premiere or Sony Vegas. I'm actually an Adobe Premiere user and it seems like our uh, software was the latest to kind of get patched to work semi well with. Um, Sony Vegas users seem like it was uh, consistently like sometimes they would have audio delay, sometimes they wouldn't. More so leaning to they would not have a delay. So as you guys can see from that video example, the audio delay is definitely a, a problem to look out for. It's one that I've experienced and it's an absolute editing nightmare. Uh, it takes a lot more time to pump out a video than uh, you know someone else using a different software that doesn't have that problem. Other than that, I mean, I can't really pinpoint too many other issues. Some people might not be able to use the H.264 uh, video codec with their editing software, uh, which isn't a big problem, but if you don't have that software, I mean, you can download it, the software that you need, by however means necessary. I know all you guys do on the internet. Um, there's also, I guess, some small issues with the software itself. Uh, if you guys go back to the REC Central uh, software, there is a uh, setting in the Pro setting where your frame rate per second is set at 29.97. It actually does not let you click that. It's invisible, but that's what it's set at. Um, there's supposed to be an update I read that fixes that issue. I don't know if it's out yet or not. So that will actually be something that you can change. Um, and then on the hardware itself, the capture card itself, it does not really have that much sound um, you know, inputs. So really, it only has one. You have 3.5 millimeter stereo sound. So if you have optic and you want to use optic, you can't use that. So I think some people might feel slighted in that regards for paying $220 for uh, this product. Now, again, I mentioned the price. That could be something that throws you off. Overall, though, I can't 
really say that I would choose any other capture card, at least inter internal capture card, over the Live Gamer HD because it's so, 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 so effective uh, in terms of how much CPU it uses compared to, let's say, the Blackmagic Intensity Pro, which I have used before, and that thing chugs your computer. So um, you don't really need a beast computer. Uh, you know, the specs I provided are basically can run the uh, Live Gamer HD. I feel like that's something that I personally wanted. I also didn't want to use an external uh, capture card because it just does not have the same crisp quality that I'm looking for. So I hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you guys have any questions, please make sure to leave them in the comment section and I will try to get to them. And until the next time, guys, I will catch you later. Peace.